Game 146 for the Orioles, 76 and 69 coming into today. It's Tyler Wells, Ben, making his third start back from injury. Yeah, Tyler Wells, 19 of his 22 starts, three earned runs or less, 17 in a row at one point. Recently spent six weeks on the IL, as Kevin mentioned, making his third start back. And Green goes down swinging, back to back change ups for Wells strikeout. Yeah, that changeup, when he gets it dancing like that, it is a difference maker. He turns this one over, runs it down and away from Riley Green. So a good start for Tyler Wells here in the first. Javi Baez hits a ground ball up the middle, and that will be passed. The second baseman, Urias, into center field. Baez with a single. Now Miguel Cabrera at the plate. The 2-2 lifted to left center field. Charging hard is Hayes, and he can't come up with it. Baez will be waved home. Here's the throw from Mateo. It is not in time. And Javier Baez on a head first slide. Gives the Tigers a 1-0 lead. Miguel Cabrera delivers in his first at bat in nearly a month. Well, this ball slider out over the plate. Miggy just kind of flips his bat at it. And I think there's some confusion in left field between Hayes and Mullins out there. But off and running at first base was uh, Javi Baez. And he went from first to home, just never stopped. Miggy gets a hit and an RBI in his first at bat back. Tyler Alexander getting the nod in this series opener. First start ever, first appearance ever for Alexander at Camden Yard. On the outside edge, the cutter gets a call third. That's a good pitch. You talk about locating and working the edges so far. And again, you can usually tell with Tyler Alexander early. When he's got that sharpness early, usually that is a good sign. Brings up Ryan Mountcastle. Strike three called. Back to back strikeouts to end the first for Tyler Alexander. Goes with three home runs in the Toronto series. This young man had one of them. Gunnar Henderson in the ninth inning on Friday. Throw him a fastball instead. Out to center field and deep. Green is back there and he makes the catch, crashing into the wall. A hatless Riley Green with a terrific play to take away extra bases. Well, we talked about getting jumps. Uh, again, he plays deep first time in Camden Yards, runs it down still. Tiger one. Scope walks him to load the bases. Chance for a big crooked number here, Shep. And this is where Detroit has to try to make something good happen. Kreidler at the plate. The 3 2. And that's ball four. Wells has just walked in a run. He has walked Kreidler, a 163 hitter. Cabrera down to score, and it's 2-0 Detroit. And that's the end of the line for Tyler Wells. A frustrating night, shorter than Wells and the Orioles were hoping for. But D.L. Hall will come into a tough spot. Base is loaded and still nobody out and a run in. Here's Akil Badu. He struck out his first time on. An encouraging start to the outing for Hall, who historically has had plenty of command issues. Four straight strikes out of the Oriole pin. That one's going to sneak away from Rutschman and bring in a run. So the first wayward pitch for Hall is a slider that Adley couldn't get to. And Torkelson scampers home to make it 3-0. Yeah, don't see this too much out of Rutschman. This is a tough chance, but he has been so good, and we are used to seeing him somehow keep these balls in front. Difficult play, but I think if you'd ask Adley Rutschman after the game whether he should have caught that ball, he would tell you, absolutely. Badu softly to left. Scope's going to score. Kreidler's right behind him. And a key hit for Akil yes, Badu, sir. a two-run single, and the Tigers pad their lead here in the fourth. Now Riley Green stands in. The Tigers are now up five. Strokes one, right center field. That could That's find the alley, yes. and it will. That will roll all the way to the wall. But Dew will be waved home. He will score easily. It's an RBI double for Riley Green. Make it five in the inning, six in the game. Tigers up six zip. Just good to see Detroit putting all these positive things together. We were just talking about Green getting that breaking ball. He keeps his front side in and hits a gapper to right center field, but do with good speed, goes first to home to score the sixth run for Detroit. Orioles are 0 for 11 in this game. Three strikeouts against Alexander. And Mountcastle wow. will be the first Oriole to reach. He takes a tight sinker for ball four to end the perfect game. Just had to make up his mind for Adrian Johnson. And of course, Alexander shaking his head 6 nothing, and I just walked the guy. Anthony Santander, the first to oppose him with runners on base, or at least a runner on base. That's popped up. 
Short right field a charging Reyes is there and Alexander is still hitless through four. It's all Detroit in game one. Caught up in how well the Tigers have swung the bats here tonight and the runs that they've scored. But Tyler Alexander has got it on cruise control right now. Yeah things are going his way. Ground ball to third behind the bag Kreidler. Long throw in the dirt nicely done by Torkelson. No problem from Torkelson at first base. Digs it out of the dirt with a backhand, helping Tyler Alexander settle down and go through the Orioles one, two, three on seven pitches. The Tigers one more opportunity. Green got the double his last time up. See what he can do. Lefty lefty matchup again. Two two grounded fair ball off the glove of Aguilar into the right field corner. Kreidler scores. Santiago will wave home Badu. He's hustling home. He will score without a throw. It's another double for Riley Green. This one brings in two runs and makes it eight nothing Tigers. Tyler Alexander gets the eight, nine, and one hitters here in the sixth for Baltimore. There is the pitching line. They have not had much contact, hard contact tonight. The three strikeouts all looking, and he's allowed just the one base runner. A two out walk in the four. Ground ball on the backhand. Kreidler. What a play. Wow. Wow. It's magical. Special play made by the rookie Ryan Kreidler. Watch this on the backhand and then pop up with a strong, accurate throw to keep the no hitter intact. Ryan Kreidler digs in. He has struck out, driven in a run for the bases loaded, walk and scored. He was hit by a pitch and scored. That's a base hit to right for Kreidler. Torkelson will score. Kreidler and Torkelson combine on another run for Detroit, make it 9 0. Well, getting the job done right there. So good to see Kreidler getting in on the action offensively with a hit and an RBI. Tyler Alexander facing the 3 4 5 hitters. Big inning right here. 77 pitches through six. Most pitches in a game this year, 97. Line drive center field. There it is. First hit of the night for Baltimore. It comes off the bat of Ryan Mountcastle to lead off the seventh. Well, now he can go to work. That's the way I look at it. He wants to finish the seventh inning. You look at his pitch count right at 79. And once in a while, you take a chance. Where was this pitch? Not too bad, really. Change up down and away. We've talked about being able to locate that. But here we are the third time through the order. And Mountcastle has already seen a bunch of those. He stays on it, keeps his front side in. Back to back singles. Santander puts a couple of men on here in the seventh inning. Now he'll face Gunnar Henderson. There's a chopper to second. Could be two. The tag Great. and the throw. That gets Alexander through seven. Heck of a job by Jonathan Scope. Another fine defensive play to help out Alexander on this Monday night and keep the shutout intact. Yes, we have reached the position player pitching portion of the night. Ryan McKenna will come on second time. Scope to deep center field. Mullins drifting back just shy of the warning track. That'll be a sacrifice fly for Jonathan Scope. Double digit runs for Detroit. It's 10 nothing. We'll enjoy what he has to say about the Tigers. Kreidler sends one to left center. Torkelson tags back to back sacrifice flies. Now 11 nothing Detroit here in the ninth it's Jose Cisnero ready to mop things up and he will face the one two three hitter in the right center field Riley Green got a great jump and that's it a shutout win for the Detroit Tigers 11 nothing worst offensive team in the league has one of the best offensive games of its season Tyler Alexander and two pitchers shut out the O's Panachase is presented by Roman the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.